Hi, I want to talk to you about ankle sprains today. I commonly am asked questions, do I have a sprain or do I have a fracture? Well, if I can walk on it, it must just be a sprain and not a fracture. Um, ankle sprains are the most typical joint um, to, to twist or to sprain. A sprain, by definition, is tearing of the ankle ligaments. On the ankle, um, there's really three bones involved in the ankle joint. The talus is the foot bone, the fibula is on the outside of the ankle, and the tibia is on the inside. On the outside of the ankle, that's where most injuries occur. There's uh, a couple ligaments on the outside, the ATF and the CF ligaments. The anterior talofibular, which connects the talus to the fibula. The calcaneal fibular, which connects the, the heel bone, the calcaneus, to the fibula. Um, and then there's a ligament in the back, the posterior uh, talofibular ligament as well, which is much more difficult to twist and, and injure. Um, in a typical ankle sprain, you're going to tear one of the one of the two ligaments, the ATF or the CF. Those ligaments are more prone to it because they're on the outside of the foot. Most injuries occur with an inversion uh, motion where you, your big toe comes up, the outside of your foot goes in, and you roll your ankle to the outside and you fall to the outside. Um, and that's because those, those joints are, are just, are the ligaments there are a little bit weaker. So when you have a an ankle sprain, you're tearing one of the ligaments. When they heal back in, they can often heal in a lengthened position, meaning they will have some scar tissue in them. They can be a little bit weaker. Um, they may not be as tight or as strong as they were before the initial injury, so you could be more prone to, uh, to recurrent sprains or having a weak ankle even. However, that can be prevented with aggressive treatment. So when you have an ankle sprain, you need to have it evaluated. You need to look and make sure it's not a fracture. Um, just because you have a lot of swelling and bruising does not mean it's broken. Um, some bad sprains will produce a lot of swelling and, and bruising. If you stay off of it, apply ice immediately to address the swelling. Take some anti-inflammatory medication like ibuprofen if you're able to. That will make a big difference. And then immobilizing the, the joint to uh, let it just rest itself. Um, either a good ankle brace or sometimes in a severe sprain I'll give people a walking boot, one of those removable cast boots with Velcro straps to allow you to walk and not limp. Um, sometimes crutches are even necessary. Um, if you aggressively treat an ankle sprain, you're much less likely to have problems long term with it. So I advise uh, if you have a bad sprain, go ahead and do the, the rice method, the rest, ice, compression, elevation um, for the first few days. If you're still limping, still having difficulty, you need to get it x-rayed. Make sure that's not a break because um, ankle fractures can occur and uh, it doesn't you can't, you can't gauge it just by looking at the ankle. Um, I have a good video here of evaluating an ankle sprain, kind of the, the areas that I examine, what to look for um, with a sprain. Talking about ankle sprains, we've got a, a gentleman here who sprained his ankle um, this past weekend. This is about five days old. You can see all the bruising and the swelling. I want to talk to you about how you evaluate um, an ankle. You look at something like this and you think it's got to be broken with all this bruising and swelling, but really this is just a very severe ankle sprain. He went to the emergency room, got x-rays, was given crutches, placed in a splint, um, but he really doesn't have a fracture. So he's here today for follow-up and I want to show you how I evaluate an ankle sprain and why it's important that you get treatment for it. So the ankle has, um, you have the outside of the ankle which is the lateral malleolus which is a very common area to fracture. So when I examine an ankle, I touch on the ankle bone and look for um, any dips or softness in the bone. The bone should be hard and firm. I can feel that all the way up. I follow it all the way up the leg, find the high aspect of the fibula because people with an ankle sprain even can get a high fracture up in this area. He has no tenderness or pain up in here today. Um, has a little bit of pain on the bone, but I think that's because of the disruption of the ligaments. On the outside of the ankle, you have the anterior um, talofibular ligament, which goes from the ankle bone out to the soft tissue area here, attaches on the talus. Um, he tore that, that's extremely tender. Um, you also have the calcaneal fibular ligament, which goes from the calcaneus, or the heel bone, up to the tip of the fibula. He tore that also, he's very tender there. I could do an ultrasound to demonstrate that, but really clinically you can touch those areas knowing where the ligament should be, and if there's a tremendous amount of pain, um, more often than not that's a tear. There's also a ligament that goes in the back, the posterior um, ligament, which he's not tender in this area. That's a very hard uh, ligament to tear with a lot of trauma, and even with all the bruising here, he's not torn that. Um, the Achilles tendon in the back, you always look for any 
defect in the tendon. So I rub my finger along the tendon, the attachment at this point, tendon's intact, you can move the ankle, it's very sore. Um, you go on the inside of the ankle, the, fibula, or the tibia, and the medial malleolus. So over here there's a big ligament called the deltoid ligament. Um, that is sore, but it's not um, incredibly tender in this case. Some people have a lot of pain here, you can actually tear it, you want to feel the bone, um, you can fracture through that bone, you can tear that ligament. Um, so you want to evaluate that. The other areas you want to evaluate are the base of the fifth metatarsal, which there's a tendon from the calf muscle that comes down, turns into tendon here, and that muscle attaches by the, uh, with that tendon to the base of the fifth metatarsal. So you want to grab this area and see if there's any pain in that area, because that can be, with what is perceived to be an ankle sprain, you get a fracture of that bone. He doesn't have any pain or tenderness in this area. And then you look across the front of the foot, the different metatarsals, there's a bunch of small bones in here, so you want to palpate this whole area and evaluate that. He doesn't really have a lot of pain in there. His pain is all isolated to the ankle. The other thing that I'll evaluate is the plantar fascia, the bottom of the heel, the arch, um, where that ligament attaches to the base of the heel. Again, he doesn't have any, any bruising here or swelling. People that sustain a calcaneal fracture, a heel bone fracture, will often get bruising on the bottom of the heel as that blood kind of pulls down here. With him, you can see that the, the bruising is all up in the back and around the, the ankle joint itself. Um, and it does extend around the back, which is why I was concerned about the Achilles tendon. Um, but that's, that's just fine. So when I evaluate an ankle in the office, this is what I look for. So somebody like this that has an ankle sprain, the sprain by definition is tearing of the ligaments, needs to be immobilized. He's going to use his crutches, we're going to give him a walking boot, and uh, he needs to ice it, take anti-inflammatory medication, and just rest it. And after a couple weeks, we'll reevaluate it. If he's still having pain, then I'll consider doing an ultrasound or an MRI to look for further tendon injuries or joint damage or maybe a fracture that didn't show up initially with all the swelling and, um, and such. So that's how we evaluate ankle sprain. Hope that's helpful. And again, it's Dr. Newhouse. Thanks for uh, visiting our website. Hopefully that helps explain what an ankle sprain is. Uh, sprain, by definition, once again, is tearing of the ligament. Um, so let us know if we can be of help but I hope that helps educate you about what an ankle sprain is.